Whenever you draw a card, it's cost is randomized between zero and three. All right, we're doing it. Also, money is good. Speaking of risk, yeah, I'm literally gonna start with Snagwai. You can't stop me. <laughs> Snagho, my Deco, my dude. Who needs to live when you have money? Exactly. I'm gonna have a golden gleaming coffin. I mean, this is better, but like rage build, like, like a lot of the rage supporting cards are low cost. I really want that. It's like back in the SES series where people told you to not take too much of each. Don't tell them what to do, what's right. Keep on taking every challenge. I mean, I, I, I'm not gonna compare it to what's else is happening. But, all right, I just need to get awakened units as quickly as possible. Uh, all enemies enter with spell shields. Yeah, these enemies actually do want to have the ability to to torch out, so I don't want to do that. Another one out. I think it's gonna be Train Steward and uh, Hornbreak Prince on the top line here, right? Drop lead bullets. <laughs> I need to deactivate that one. Oops, my bad. No, if I want to be able to slay one of those units myself, I'm going to need uh, both of them to be alive for the next floor. That's fine. Did you just heal the enemy? Where? <laughs> Chat. No, you can't take risks. This is bad. You'll lose. Raps. Huh, Sneko go brr. It's very me. Um, I'm going to try and get the Hornbreaker Prince like a bunch of slays here. And only when these both get to the top floor do I have the ability to slay because the train steward kills the front one. So I think I just hold off on everything this time. So now I start killing these clergymen individually with my attacks. Put a train to you on the next floor. Heal you up. All good. What's the name of this Neko Eye artifact? Uh, it is Volatile Gauge. Whenever you draw a card, its cost is randomized between 0 and 3. A demon fiend, he's gonna be real good. There's that kill. Got him. Apply rage three. Uh, sorry, apply rage five for for hmm? cost. I think this is over costed. But, I mean, if it costs a random amount, is it good enough? Let's give some armor as well. I'll take it. I don't want any of these. <sighs> Final boss removes all buff and debuff, right? Uh, was it? They didn't check. Hang on. Who cleanse you of your sinful ways. Yeah, it removes buffs and debuffs. I'm not going to be buffing and debuffing in the fight. I'm just going to try and get big units. So here's a Hellhorn unit and upgrade. I just need to get to there. That's where I want to be. I think I'm going to take the money not really upgrade anything this floor. Like, I could gain an Awoken unit, but the only Awoken unit I really want... Like, I, there's no big expensive Awoken units. There's low-cost Awoken units. And sure, those can be fine. You can play them out on the field, but they're not really going to end up synergizing with the stuff that we don't want to take. If this has Large Stone, I might take it. Speed Stone, Heart Stone. I could just, up like, double upgrade a, a Train Steward, just have one. Or I could remove a couple cards. 
I'm probably going to remove a couple cards here. Actually, no. I have the ability to upgrade a lot next floor. And I'll remove there if I want to. It's fine. It's fine. As long as I manage my Slayer well in this fight, we should still be okay. Enemies enter with spikes too. My Slayer only has six health. I can't take that. that i'll take three damage here but then i'll kill and i'll be able to stack my rage and then i'm just gonna put train stewards in front is your champ always free i think so okay train steward there kill you kill you actually it would have reached the top floor and done nothing yeah i could have just left the healer you're right my apple you're right. So I'll take the opportunity to heal each of these. Uh, should I heal each of these or should I get the next train steward up? I think I gotta get the next train steward up. Torch the back line to prevent the heal. So they can really do that turn. Sure, I can restore you, but it, it won't do anything. We'll still... It's, it, we deal a huge amount of damage. Yeah, it's fine. WTF is this game? This is Monster Train. It's a deck builder roguelike. A uh, strategy battler on multiple floors on the train to hell. It is real good and fun and a nice time. <laughs> Big units. Moving units at the front and apply armor 10. Yeah, armor 10 is pretty big. Yeah. Take it. These are all zero. No. Big boys. Let's go to this side. Go to the cabins first. Sorry. Uh, no, no, no. It's, it's check this, then go to the cabins, then go for that. Is each one random? Yeah, it's a roguelike. So we have quick and we have two uh, damage buffs or a damage buff and a health buff. Oh. All right, cabins. It's going to be a think deck. Eh, see. A fissure in the ice forces the bone shaker to stop. You've seen cracks like this before. more copies of Ritual of Battle. You copy a card once or five times. This is the most game-breaking event. Yeah, it's ridiculous. If I had a big unit already, if I had five big boys, it'd be so good. Five marches. Marches are the ones I'm considering at the moment. Yeah, just so that I can get the Hornbreaker Prince real buff. Can you copy your commander? No. You cannot copy the Hornbreaker Prince. Doesn't count as a card as champion. I think I'm just going to get a second copy of the March of Shields. If this... If this event gives me a big boy... Never mind, neither of them that big boys. Take this in the interim. Remember the buffs don't work. It's fine. I'll give it quick. Should I also give it the extra health? Just so it stands up better against spikes. I think I'd probably purge cards actually is a priority here. 
some stoles because I have the extra armor in the deck. And then let's get a torch out here as well. I want to cycle back to my marches of shields and ritual of battle as quickly as possible. I believe the game won't give me a goddamn big boy. Enemy units deal two damage to the front unit on death. Oof. That's gonna be rough. Hopefully we get some armor early. Let's go. Hornbreaker. Horn Prince, and then March. March. A bunch of armor. I might be able to get that spell, but it's like double the amount of armor your unit has. That'd be really, really good. Take out all the bosses for me. Okay. Pull that backliner. I can really do that turn. Wait, is the plus one Ember Room restricted to the magic shop? Plus one Ember Room. This one Ember Rune. You're gonna have to refresh me on what you mean by that. I'm actually probably better served by blowing you up. Ember is mana. Oh, uh the, the plus one ember and plus ten magic damage one? Or plus one ember and plus cost uh, plus stats or something. There is another one. Not super cool, yeah. You're out. Been watching a video for almost a year. Nice to see you finally on Twitch. Hi from Brazil. Nice to be called on Twitch. Hi to Brazil. Maybe come again, Bob. Or Bob. I can torch you to prevent three damage to the front line. Silly, thank you very much for the gift of a team on sub to Bob. Bob, enjoy your words in chat. Welcome to the Republic. I need the armor more than I need anything else. Yeah. <laughs> Double your armor and get body slam. Exactly. We're running an entrenched barricade deck here. It'll happen. March of shields. March all over. For one of them. This one also goes to the next floor and it's fine. It doesn't matter. Actually, no, it doesn't even get to the next floor. All is fine there as well. Body slam is 5x in this game. <laughs> All right. I love it. By the way, Ryan, uh, to be a Bordero in Disco, you need to succeed in a rhetoric check and immediately fail the encyclopedia check when you say maybe I'm a Bordero. Ah, okay. Yeah. My character doesn't really fail the encyclopedia checks. That makes sense. Yeah, my slays have gone real well. I'm pretty sure we're just gonna... Are you already dead? Yeah, you're already dead. I don't really have to do anything here. <laughs> I'll march of shields, though, so that I can keep my unit. Get him. All right. Extra mana with this is really good, but extra card draw is really good as well. So it's, it's one of these two. Drawing an extra card obviously gives you an extra chance to have a card that has a relatively low cost. Extra mana gives you the ability to play two two-cost cards, a three-cost card, and a one-cost card. It, it gives you more flexibility to the cards you have in hand. So effectively, it's like, do you have a good deck? Mm, not really yet. If I had a good deck, I'd probably draw extra cards. I think I need the mana here. I'll stand double the amount of rage on friendly units. Rage is a buff though. Buffs won't work in the final battle. Armor is not a buff. I can take this in the interim for performance on enemy units, but like we still only have one rage card in the deck. We'd have to draw into it constantly and then the rate last stand afterwards. Eh, no. It's good. Probably skip here too.
Stings will be awful when I draw into them. Let's come it. Animus of Speed. Animus of Speed, at the very least, does benefit from the Ritual of Battle. I guess so does the Husk Hermit. Husk is better than your stewards, but not great. Adds to your hand, does it get scrambling cost? No, it doesn't, but that card doesn't consume, so when I draw it next time, it will be. Psychoduck, thank you very much for the, oh my god, 11 month tier one subscription. Enjoy your, continue to enjoy your moments in chat, and welcome back to the Republic. Hellhorned unit, duplicate. We're doing it, we're going big. Big, 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 big! <laughs> yes! All right, Demon Fiend, and then I'm gonna do for Demon Fiend, thank you. And then I'm gonna remove a Restore. And another Restore. Told you we would get big. Non-boss enemies gain multi-strike, whatever. I want a random artifact. And I just got really, really powerful. Can we name it Demon Friend? You best believe we're gonna name it Demon Friend. After combat, it gains two. Yeah, so I, I need to stop them on the bottom floor here. Unfortunately, my minion's not actually gonna get the slay. I'll be able to spell that one from the top down. Horned Warrior is quick. If I Horned Warrior Train Steward here, we're fine. Yeah. Train... Uh, I should also... Should I Train Steward the next floor as well? Yeah, I should. And then the Demon Fiend goes in front of the Train Steward on that final floor. How long has the stream been up? Two hours now. What's with the cost? Snack away is with the cost. So now we are Omniscience and Omniscience and Omniscience. Exactly. Combo time. Good to see you, Royal Enos. Welcome to the stream. Demon friend in the front line. Having a lot of difficulty taking out these second units and actually getting any buffs on my Hornbreaker here, unfortunately. Ritual on the... I'm still learning! I'm sorry. Uh... Restore you so you live. It's not gonna be enough. Oh, if I'd done it on this. <laughs> if I'd done it on the next floor, it would have been better. This next one seems to be shafting you on other costs. Yeah, it'll happen. I need one of those big heal everyone a bunch cards. Thank heck for the brief respite here. We'll torch the frontliner and give you shields. So you live. Actually, you can tell me this game was really hard. You make it look so easy. I don't think I'm making it look easy at all right now. Need to be able to heal my top unit on the top floor. Yeah. 
He's died three times in the stream. Is the top big boy? No, I just need him to live more turns. Are we dead here? Probably not. Rage on the backline because it'll attack more times. You should try Ascension next because the random cards they add make it more fun to starting build. Yeah, but I, I am constantly worried about, you know, I'm, I'll just die as a result. So if I only took 20 damage in this fight in order to get a random artifact, that's good. That's really good. Oh, it's the advanced prototype though. Train stewards gain damage, uh, damage shield and multi-strike. Fine, I guess. Inferno. Deals 100 damage to friendly and enemy units, just clears out a floor and takes it. Then... Consume, add regens, uh, regen two and spikes to add two copies of this card to this card pile. I don't want to do that. No, I don't want a deck that's all that. Do you think it's an issue that we've automatically started calling things we recognize SDS names? Like, do you think it'll hurt Monster Train from gaining its own image? I don't necessarily think so. I think, like, there are maybe two, three things that, like, have a direct analog that I can point to. Um, but I I'm calling them SDS names usually because, like, I I'm demonstrating this game largely to an SDS viewing audience. So it, it helps to describe it for them. I don't necessarily think it's bad, though. Get an artifact over here as well as a spell. Something interesting and upgrade my champion. I can get my 20 higher health back as well as forge my units to gain new powers. I mean, forging my units to gain new powers, especially if I can increase their size, is pretty good. But artifact can be huge, ridiculous huge. Events probably not that great for us, and spells uh, probably also not that great for us. But size is bad if you don't have capacity. That's true. I want the artifact. After playing a spell, spells in your hand uh, with a lower cost are free this turn. So if I randomize and get like a three cost spell, all of my spells in hand are free. Do I want that? Or do I want whenever you summon the second unit in this turn, gain two energy? I don't summon that many units. Is the game out already or is it closed beta for influences? It's an open beta. You can actually just go to the Discord and uh, message one of the devs in order to get a key if you'd like. I think Anvil's better. And I think next boss I need to take extra draw. Okay. Some Hellbent Caves. Oh, I should have looked in the shop first! Ryan! Lose three health in order to gain a heart stone. Upgrade a unit with 15. I could go for Petrified Heart, which is actually uh, lose 10 Pyre health, but also gain a Petrified Heart plus, plus 10 health to all of my units, but they cannot be healed. But there is like, there are heal cards that I want to put in this deck. You removed heal uh, spells from your deck anyway. Yeah, I have removed them already, but the thing is... So I have removed them already, but there is a card that is just like restore full health to all of your friendly units on a floor. You armor anyway? I do armor anyway, actually. You're right. Armor is not a buff. When your pyre kills a unit, restore two health. No, I'm gonna go. Petrified heart. Big. Big, big, big. They 
roll big now. It's all big now. Let's upgrade the champion. I mean, now that he has a bunch of extra health, he is way better at getting that slay off. Watching the magic, remove a spell, uh, remove consume on a spell. I don't think I have any spells we consume. The upgrade a spell with plus 10 magic power and one extra energy. I mean, the plus 10 magic power doesn't actually, like the one extra energy doesn't uh, actually cost us anything. There's not like plus 10 magic power on that doesn't really matter. I could put it on like a, a, a torch just to have a good torch. The attack from Slay, I don't think, is a buff. <laughs> Plus four on Inferno just to send a message. Torch is probably best. Hang on. Actually, before we do that, let's look at the next floor. Gain an artifact. Oh, there is. Okay, so I can gain an artifact on this side, get 20 pyre health and a random selection of artifacts, and then I just buy those out. Yeah, I think I want to save my money, actually. Right, I wish you'd do a politics and gaming thing where you shed light on the companies you've chosen to leave behind because of their ethics, because now I feel like I got a ditch weather facts and I only saw Blizz Client when you mentioned it, so I'm wondering if you can make a bigger difference. Um, I think the bigger difference that I can make is literally just those two, though. Like, because those are the only two games where I've... Well, I mean, that and Iridus, but, like... Like, Iridus is, is more like their workplace politics and their, their, uh, their design... Uh, their design shift after firing the lead developer and designer. But yeah, like the, the only companies I really have anything to say about would be Blizzard and Weather Factory. But you're right. I, I should probably be more public about those kinds of things. Part of me is worried about like burning bridges and stuff like that, but at the same rate, well, part of me is not, I'm not worried about burning bridges with Weather Factory especially, or Hearthstone, I guess. Especially Hearthstone, because I immediately said the thing about that. Weather Factory is more... Like, I just wasn't considering ever bringing it back. But then people asked about it. Yeah, I don't have any problem doing that. I just don't know what avenue uh, across which it would be... Um, a good idea to do. Maybe a Jim Sterling collab? Oh, I would love to work with Jim so much uh yeah i'm gonna save my money for the next one guys let me go about it by supporting and promoting developers that do uplifting things uh it's the thing is it's difficult with indie games to do that because a lot of the time the developers don't necessarily have a track history of oftentimes anything um which which makes that difficult uh negative one energy a turn i already have an extra energy every turn and i have big boy units they gain strength every kill. They're not going to kill my units. It's fine. We got this. I want the artifact so damn bad. Big boy. So I need to attack first with the Hornbreaker Prince actually here. I can shift the positions afterwards if I need to with the March of Shields. So you go there. You go there. Got him. <laughs> Whee! All right. Uh, if I could send the demon to the front now, I really would. Love to, in fact. I think I just got to get the next demon friend on the top floor. March. We got the march. Beautiful. Now you go to the front. Protect my friend. So I was playing a bit ago and I learned you can damage your own units with spell and heal enemies with your spells as well for the galaxy brain plays. Yeah. I'm aware. Let 
mean, hang on. I should probably kill this one just so I take less damage, right? So it's now just demon friend? Yep. It looks like a demon friend anyway. It has to be. Okay, if I torch the backliner, I can march my unit to the front just so I can get another slay off for an extra 20 damage. Pretty big. Get a quick unit behind you. No slay for Prince? What do you mean no slay for Prince? Get it. Did you pick Anvil? Because you picked Anvil, you should play the largest spell first. I did pick Anvil, and I haven't been doing that. You're right. Entirely my fault. My bad. Rage for the kill. I don't really think there's anything else I can do here. Like, I can try and heal, but heal blocked. Exactly. Okay, we have another March of Shields. That's really good here. Let's March of Shields the bigger units to the front again, and now we win. Get him! Get him! Get him! That was exact damage, I think, as well. Brute firebox, clamp back, clamp back. Uh, gain energy on the first turn of each battle. I don't have any access cards in my deck, but if I get screwed on my first draw, that's really, really annoying. So this will help me prevent that. Battering Ram, deal damage to the front enemy unit equal to five times the amount of armor or friendly units. But there's also, hang on, reinforce. Double armor on a unit consume. Battering Ram. Tyra is Tyus and Climb though? What? Why Tyus some Climb tops? How much armor do we have in this deck? We don't have that much. Not yet. Let's do be fair. We have two marches of shield. We will put all armor in this deck though. Needs more RAM. That, hmm, that's the one I wanted. Restore friendly units to full health. Get it. Now I can't do it, right? Heartless, so it actually wouldn't even work. Wildwood Tome, I can take that still to apply quick to Hornbreaker. You can use Tyson Climb to defend the pile. What do you mean? Like put the enemy in the pyre room? Start of battle, summon a random unit from your deck on each floor. Oh. That, right? It's possibly bad due to, like, getting them out in bad positions. But it plays so many units instantaneously. Check the free relic first. Yeah, you're right. We should take all these and then check the free relic. I guess my Pyre starts with eight armor each battle is all I can really do there. I have no sp sting spells. I'm not going to be taking them, so. It's such sick tempo. Rage for multi-strike? I have no multi-strikers. Oh, no, wait, you're right. I have the uh, the train stewards. It actually does help with them. Yeah, you know what? Boom, boom. Doing it. I can't heal my friendly units, so I'm not taking the sap, obviously, though. No. Could have skipped for 20 gold. I don't know if I wanted to have the 20 gold there. Did you know it's a po uh, Do you know if it's possible to ascend units into the top floor? I imagine so. I don't know any reason why it wouldn't be. Oh, we're going to have uh, boys just hitting all of these uh, Alabaster Guardians immediately. Boys! All boy everything. <laughs> Big. Hmm.
So I think like demon friend up here. Do you have any one capacity minions? No. Make Prince a big boy? Yeah, I'm definitely gonna be doing that. Interestingly, adding quick there actually prevents it from getting a kill this time. <laughs> the music in this game actually slaps. I very, very rarely recognize songs in games at all. Like, I just don't even notice that it's there. But yeah, I noticed in this game. Woo! Baby. Do you know of any five capacity minions? No, I don't. Oh, the unit has quick too. Oh no, you're right. Oh, that's thank you. Thank you. Didn't matter that turn, but remember the anvil. Okay, you're right. I should cast Inferno first. Okay. Um. Uh, Torch the backliner, and that's enough to live. But also, actually, if I March of Shields my Hornbreaker, I get the kill with it. I get the kill with it anyway, but then the Horned Warrior gets 24 damage through. And the Horned Warrior is on very low health at the moment. So, yeah, I think I'm actually going to have you tank. Behind them and torch one of them. The whole summoning unit every floor makes Inferno much harder to play. Yeah, it does. Not impossible, though. Don't have to, just have to not care about your own units. Okay. So if I march of shields right here, then my battering ram will deal 100 damage, which will give me the ability to attack the backline this turn. Beautiful. We gave them the business. They saw the business end of the business. Uh, whenever I cast a spell, that's fine. Let's go up again. Should use torch first because it does some more damage. I barely even remember the turn. <laughs> so I. Sure, baby. Is there a chatbot? How long have we been going? There is a chatbot, but I don't have enough time command in it. Uh, we've been going for two and a half hours now. So one and a half hours still left in the stream. Actually, it's battering around to kill the frontliner, then march is free, not that it matters. Torch just so I can hit the backliner with all of my damage. Get it. <laughs> I'm just gonna murder all of my own units to do that as well. Are we still doing a daily? Yeah, we'll do a daily. It's just I kind of want to win a run before I do the daily. Uh, it was draw an additional card per turn that we agreed on, right? The extra capacity does give me the ability. No, but I have big boys. Yeah, it's, it's draw an additional card, I think. We need to have the ability to get back to our marches of shield a lot quicker and stuff like that. Consume to apply 20 armor. I mean, even if that randomizes its cost, it's still pretty good. Capacity since you've got a random unit each floor. Sure, but like the breakdown of... Ooh. More artifacts. The breakdown of the units is like I have like three size units and two size units. So they fit together into a capacity of five very easily, which is the capacity we currently have. I don't have enough two size units that I end up with like commonly a floor or would end up commonly with a floor of three of them. Spell shop might be good. Spell shop would only be really good if it actually got the, the alloy of the ancients to remove its consume. But artifacts and a hundred gold to buy them. Maybe. Two big boys in one floor. 
They're kind of damage blocks so that I can put something else bigger behind them. And serve energy between turns. Yes, that's okay. Uh, taking the Unbroken Horn here is actually really good because we do have the extra five on turn one from the Improved Firebox. So I'll basically never run out of mana. <laughs> root Split Mask, apply Root to enemies. I mean, I may as well take that as well. I think. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with the path I chose there. All right. Non-boss enemy units heal all health when they move up a floor. Okay, that can be a problem, because I know there are enemy units in this fight with 60 HP. But they get rooted on the third floor. I also have 100 going in. And we have a lot of multi-strike on big boy units. It should be fine. Two, that enemy has 50. It's not enough to kill. Hmm. Prince floor one? Really? It doesn't kill though. I think it's the second floor. So I put Slave Breaker in the back, right? 22 damage goes to the Steel Wings, and then the Slave Breaker does 25, 22, 25, 47. It has 50. And I don't even have the ability to torch it. I think the Prince goes on the second floor, yeah. March their back unit forward. Big brain play! Billions of IQ. How do you contain all those IQ points in your head? I don't understand. So if I put it in the front line and then I put my Hornbreaker Prince in the front line, I can actually get a kill this turn. Start buffing up. about the rave three units get entering i literally could have killed tc dragon never mind the person who told me to do this was wrong tc dragon how do you contain all the iq that person had 200 iq and you've got 4,000. meanwhile if i had next <laughs> i'd need an extra iq point to keep the other one company uh, it's alloy of ancients my front line Watch the unit with armor because it won't heal on going to the next floor. Silly Zindam, thank you very much for the tier uh, one sub gift to Blue Phoenix and also to TC Dragon. Much appreciated. Each of you, enjoy your modes in chat. Welcome to the Republic. I have to apply this rage here so that it kills the frontliner by itself. Then, because it's quick, I think I can put the other unit in the frontline now. Okay. 
In fact, I could even just kill the front unit. Oh, what is that? Yeah, probably not. I still need the Hornbreaker Prince to get this kill so it buffs itself up. Um, split the Demon Warrior with Multi Strike behind you. And then I'm not going to use the Ram. I want the Ram here so that it kills, uh, or rather, I don't want the Ram here so that the Hornbreaker Prince kills the Steel Wings so I get extra damage so that I have the ability to kill the Gilded Wings in the future. Ram the Collector? Uh, I can't. Right? The amount of armor on friendly units. Yeah, there's no armor on friendly units, so it'll do no damage on those floors. Five nine zero is still zero. Yeah, it heals fully on that floor, but it's gonna stay there for two turns. Those units in the back line really given that. Okay. Yeah, I think I basically just throw the uh, the torches at them. Keep you alive. I mean, it's going to ascend next turn anyway. That didn't matter. Yup. March the enemy to the front to get the Slayer buff. I've heard that one before, TC. No, wait, hang on. Your TC. Damn it. Myself to the front there and then battering ramp for the kill. Shouldn't really need to do anything at this point. I guess I can ritual of rage just for some extra damage. I'll do it in the back line here. Inferno? No, thank you. I'm okay. Respite. Let's get you back to the front, and that's about it. I can't heal any of my units. That's about it. All I can do. Perhaps you notice card art? Not really. Like I, I kind of just, I notice enough to identify it, and then the rest of it completely vanishes from my mind. Keep you in the front line. Battering ram for 195 damage. 25 by 2, it kills the frontliner instantly. Oof. Unless. And now we win the fight. What allows you to put three units on the floor? What do you mean? Ooh, Imsicl. Wait a second, I don't want that. At the start of your turn, add a random imp card to your hand. Yeah, I don't have the capacity to play them. And also, if I cycle them back into my deck and draw them again, they'll have a randomized cost and they'll be really bad. <sighs> Sucks to not be able to take that. We can't. Branding right piercing deals five damage and then applies 15 armor. That's really good for setting up armor on my own units. No, is it? No, no, it's not really, right? It's only 10 armor for, for two, which is fine. Try some climb. Is that, so I tire some climb literally just to put them next to the pyre so they die? This can also be used on enemies, so I can use it to pierce through their armor as well as shields. This thing has 11 health? Oh, right, 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 right. yeah, 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 Heartless, got it. Let's 
Seismic Climb can be used to overstack on floor three while clearing up the capacity on floor two. Oh, right. Yeah, because you're talking about using it on my own units. Branding Rider is technically healing. Yeah. Yeah. Go Tyson Climb. I think Tobbs is right. I don't want any of these, though. It's a lot of healing that I can't use. Tyson Climb is super flexible. Give it a try. Happy to. I can dupe a card in my deck, gain an artifact, and go to the vents, as well as upgrade my champion. Or I can upgrade units and remove two cards. Removing two cards and upgrading my units actually does sound pretty good. Like, upgrade my demon fiends in particular. Make them quick by base. Oof, baby. So the left side is an artifact, an event, and then a dupe. Like, I can dupe again and get another demon fiend, but, like, I can't play all of them. As soon as one of my uh, train stewards is out, I can't play all of my demon fiends anymore. Duper Ram is also nice. Uh, yeah. Duper Stole to flex on chat. All right, I like, I love that idea. Oh, you now have the ability to overstack. Oh, you're right, I do have the ability to overstack. I guess I could go for another demon fiend. I'm definitely not duping Inferno. That's the only one I don't really want to dupe here. Out of the obvious ones. Dupe Climb and overstack everything on floor three. Ooh. That's intriguing. Tobbs, what do you think about dupe and climb? But also, yeah, Battering Ram is huge though. The train stewards are surprisingly not useless with your current build. Yeah, it's super useful. Upgrades first. Can I choose my upgrades first? Yeah, I don't get any upgrades on them. Do you think March makes more sense to me? March is March of the... March, 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 March. March, March of Shields. Oof. in the artifacts. Never a friendly unit is... Alright, winged indulgence. Enemy units gain negative one, I guess. Shards of the pyre. Remnants of the one great beacon of hell are strewn about. When it was extinguished, the shattered pyre must have been ejected through these hell vents across all nine rings. Taking advantage of the opportunity, some entrepreneurial soul decided to set up a still near the hell vent converting what remained of the energy into potent liquids. While the owner must have heard you coming and scrambled off, some of the product still remains. Consume, so it doesn't even remove from the deck. Restore 2x health to our pyre. We can use that quite effectively. Bone Rattler, enhance the pyre with extra damage. If I daze a unit next to it and then just like enhance it with a bunch of damage, extra damage do I give it, right? Like, I'm probably going to be able to cast this, like, regularly for six or seven, maybe. Twelve. It's only for the duration of the battle, though. Your pious attack will never do anything close to a demon fiend. You're right. Sorry, friend. All right, demon friend. I kind of want to leave. If a dazed enemy is just next to the pyre, won't the pyre just pummel it to death? Uh, well, it'll have one round of combat where it pummels it, and then another round of and the next round of combat, it'll be fine. Yeah, I actually don't think either of those will benefit me that much. Is healing the pyre normally healing? Yep. Uh, okay, let's upgrade the champion before I dupe the card. Oh. 
Um, Multi-strike, if I can get one slay off, is pretty huge. Like, as soon as I get one slay off, I'm better off with this than I am with Hornbreaker. It's also got Rage. I mean, Rage doesn't really matter to me. Um, with Rage 8. I mean, hmm, I guess that does make it much more likely to get the instantaneous kill. Slay's plus 40 on each of them because of multi. Yeah. As soon as I slay once, it's like I've gotten a plus 40 because it's a multi hit. Yeah. And this gives it the ability eventually when it's big enough to kill two units. I'm going to try and overstack the top four a lot of the time here. Okay. We got this. We got this. We got this. Days of the buff? That's fine. I'll play it on my own units. So you attack quick for 20 at the very start. Sorry, uh, 40 at the very start. And then you'll be 50. You'll actually enter with a bunch of rage. So we'll kill this turn. That's fine. Okay. Let's go. Molto strike demon. Rage is a buff. When does Seraph remove them? When? when? Does Seraph remove them in an attack or something like that? Because, like, the Horned Warrior removes its buff this turn. Start of turn? Yeah, start of turn. Okay, yeah, it's, it's fine. We Hornbreak Prince will be fine. That's enough to kill that target for me. Okay, um, then let's Tyson climb you. Rage of Battle you. Train steward there. I mean, I do have the days. I just keep putting them up. This will stop me from playing my next demon friend, though. Slay! Tiresome climb you. Give you the tome as well. There's no battering ram to happen on that floor. Nor that floor, nor that floor. It's fine. Inferno on floor two for value damage. It'll kill my own train steward. You send the champions. I need the Hornbreaker Prince to stay here and kill these units first. Inferno the middle? You want me to kill my own train steward? but I can send it to the top line. I can just keep ascending them. Overstack this ridiculously. It's 100 damage, but I think like... So the 100 damage that it does, I think is going to be minimal compared to this unit. The Hornbreaker. I think the Hornbreaker is like all of our damage. Yeah, it's 100 damage to the, the light guy, but this is going to be where all of our damage really comes from. I want to keep this unit so I can put it at the back. I don't think we're there where we want to start blowing up our own units yet. One hundred damage is more than the steward's damage. Yeah, you're right. The steward will never do more than hundred damage there. There is one choice, which is, I, yeah, I, I did see that one as well. Kill my own guy so that the Horned gets both of these kills. <laughs> I'm doing it. 
I just insta-kill these units now. Yeah, there goes all my rage and stuff like that. Armor. 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 <laughs> Get you there. Don't need to cast any of those. Oh. Inferno for two again? One big boy, that's all I'm gonna have here. <gasps> okay, tie some climb. Tie some climb. <laughs> We're fine now. Everything is solved, the world is good. Perhaps you insane? Oh, I know. I'm not going to attack with it this turn. I understand that. But next time the Seraph goes up there, we ruin every... <laughs> um... Ritual of Rage, I mean, it only matters when the Seraph comes up here anyway, so Ritual of Rage will do nothing, but it also doesn't matter to not have, I guess. Uh, end of turn. I'm gonna... I don't really know what to do here. Drag some jerks up to floor three. It doesn't really help or not help to do that, to be entirely honest, though. You can test if you move a steward to the pyre room. I don't think you can. Yeah, come on. done. I guess you are quick, but you're not even attacking this turn. Yeah, I'm done. Nonetheless, as well. All you have to do is trust in the snacker. You've dealt 400 damage with Inferno. Yeah, having that, uh, having both of those climbs so that I could have kind of like a free um, mid space so that I could actually use the Inferno constantly there was huge. Absolutely huge. 